do it for me. I'm busy right now because I'm going to be talking to Conal Kelly. Conal Kelly? Conal Kelly. Conal. I, I don't keep want. I want to say Conal. It happens way more than you would think. Mm. I once had Canal Coral Connor, <laughs> Connor a I lot. I like Canal Kelly. Yeah. This sounds uh, like a blues artist. Colonel. Colonel, Colonel Kelly. Kelly. Colonel nice Kelly. Kelly. Which but is your yeah. favourite out of them all? I mean, I quite like Connell. Yeah. <laughs> that if one's nice. If I had to nice. choose a second. If I had to choose a second, I don't know. Coral's pretty funny. Coral is quite cool. Coral's... That's if you do like more of a hippie album. Yeah, but then Colonel's quite... I don't know. I like the authority of Colonel Kelly. It, it does. So... It makes me sound like you could produce quite good fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, that is right. Yeah. Okay, done. Colonel Kelly. <laughs> and we've got to talk about... Because this is... What you don't know about this, sweet, sweet viewer, I love you dearly. Please keep subscribing to our Twitch. Um... <laughs> It's actually quite warm in here. It's mafting. You know, you know, yeah, you know yeah. the phrase mafting? It, I don't. I've not heard it before. That's a Manchester phrase. It, mean, it means that the area in which you are is like someone's armpit. It, um, <laughs> it doesn't feel a million miles away. No. And you are wearing a coat that I, um, looks like it is made of dreams and marshmallows. It feels like it and it tastes like it. Oh. Um, and Yeah, I am. Um, Let's talk me through this coat. Uh, well, it's, Is it self-designed? Where is it from? Where no, can no, I buy re- it? Recent purchase, Zara. 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 Oh, Zara. I know, Ooh, la, right? La. I know. And um, yeah, I just, I'm such a sucker for jackets. Can I swear? I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes, you fucking I can. can. I fucking love jackets, man. They're shit hot, man. Let's just, should we swear as much as we can for, for 10 seconds just to get out of our system? <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. I think my mum's watching. <laughs> your Mom, son's, I'm sorry. Your son's a shit. He's the shit, not shit. Fuck He's you, the mum. Shit. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> That's the first <laughs> F you to a mum we've ever had. Mum, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also love you, but in very different ways. Um, we just had uh, Lucy Deacon on, didn't we? Doing we did. Doing a little trap be track. We did. And um, you supported Lucy Deacon recently. I did, on Friday. Yeah. Actually. It's the second time I've played with her. I played with her at Dot to Dot, um, which was... A while ago now, like a yeah. month ago maybe. Um, yeah, she's she's great. She's lovely, isn't I mean, she? I'm sure everybody in this building knows how great she's she is. She's a scuffer than that lady. So, what can we say? She's all over the place here. So yeah, I, yeah, love it. Love the love the tunes. Love the new EP as well. Yeah, it's all beautiful. Great. There we go. Stream it, download it, get it involved. Stream it, download guys. it. I'm committed to say this. Uh, this I'm not stream it, download it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's brilliant though. It is really good. But you you're a busy boy yourself. What I didn't realize yeah. is you record all your songs in your bedroom. I do. Yeah, I do it all myself. Um, I do all the writing, recording, playing every instrument, mixing, producing, everything. That's, all on my own. That's too much, really, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is. It's a control freak thing. Um, Has it always been like that? Because you were in a yeah. in a band, the Watercolours. Yeah, before Watercolours that. before this. Yeah. Um, what were you? Were you the front man in the band? I was, and equally as <laughs> hands on with the whole process, which understandably for the other two in the band, yeah, didn't quite work out. No. So you, <laughs> so solo was necessity more than it anything kinda, else. I kind of fell into it in the sense of we we would be. You know, we're, we're all like best mates, but we would be butting heads towards the end. And it yeah. was like, actually, value the friendship more than I value the creative control here. I can just do this on my own. Yeah. So here we are, doing it on my own. Doing it on your own. In the truest sense. In your home. Is it hard recording stuff in your bedroom? Like, I, like I'm very bad at being messy. Like, I, <laughs> everything would be everywhere. And now you've got an actual studio in your bedroom. Oh, it sounds like I'm a nightmare. Such a, a like, OCD. I, yeah, I keep everything super tidy. My bedroom looks like an ikea showroom Ooh, it's like lovely. everything has its place people make fun of me for it i had a mate living with me for a while and he you used, made to, fun used of to me. put him in certain drawers i used to just put him <laughs> yeah i used to sit him and kind of adjust his legs so they would be <laughs> yeah, so it's perpendicular to <laughs> i the used sofa. to like i used to take like the remotes for the tv and i'd have them like lined oh really up in their spot yeah not like i would never get like on pissed peep, peep show with a megatron yeah right i would never get pissed if he like did it wrong but i would just kind of like Put it just oh so subtly back yeah is that normal i, I don't, don't know. know is that normal guys <laughs> is any normal? questions uh, what is that do you normal? do with your tv remotes uh we want to know this is the sort of chat we do on here i just need validation needs validation man uh any questions for connell do let us know and um i just saw glorious george who's our our screen guy shaking his head before and we did <laughs> promise that we're gonna have a new feature yeah. called uh glorious george's facts because george is full of facts so George, do you want to come tell us a fact? Please welcome to the stream, Glorious George. Hey, man. There we go. Come on in, come on in. You can borrow my microphone. Oh, am I on this one? Yeah. Which camera? I should know which camera I'm on. I'm the one doing it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hello. Give me a fact. Um, fact, Glorious George. Well, so your fact for this week, going off the, the spider fact, right? Right. So you, the whole, like, eight spiders that you eat in a night, right? Yeah. 
nonsense, complete bollocks, yeah, yeah. fabrication. But do you know how it was made up, that fact? How it came to be? I'm so ready. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, they basically, it was a woman who was writing for her doctorate, and she was doing a study on how misinformation spreads on the internet. And she thought, I know what I'll do. I'll spread this l- rumor that you eat eight spiders in your life, and I'll just see how it goes on the internet. And I'll see what happens, and I'll write my doctorate on it. Did that, spread like wildflower. Fla- wildflower. Wildflower. Spread, <laughs> spread like wildflower. <laughs> and yeah, now everyone just remembers that you eat eight spiders instead of the fact that she did it. That's great. That's a fact. Round of, fl- round of applause for Glorious George! Whoa, 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 whoa. It's there with a fact that took far longer than I thought it would. A fact th- about... A fact that is not actually a fact. A fact about a fact that's not a fact. This man is inception when it comes to facts. That was glorious to have him join us on the stream. If you want more glorious, George, you just let us know, baby. You're joking. <laughs> I totally believe the spider thing, the BG4. Um, I BG4, did as well. Also, uh, I do that with the remotes. So not sure if it's really all that normal, though. I don't know. It's, it's your, okay. Your soulmate is out there. And they're on Twitch. It's fine. <laughs> I, I'm happy with people knowing my dark secrets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take you home and I'm uh. gonna organise your life. <laughs> 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 well, that's incredible. But it's it's worked well for you when it comes to writing and stuff. It has, though. yeah. I kind of I can keep my my work ethic pretty on it. Oh, your work um, ethic's damn high because <laughs> in lockdown you were like, okay, what I'm gonna do is in a day, uh, you suggest me a song, I will. Do a cover version of it, record it professionally, did and then put it out to you and do a video with it all in a day. And you did like consecutive days of that. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> it was a bit of a vice, really. Yeah. I, that's what, that's what I did to stop myself it's going insane. It's your heroin. It was literally like, I, I think I said it as a joke at first. I was like, oh, would anyone like a cover? And then people just requested loads. Um, and then it turned into this whole thing. And I kind of, it's funny. Whenever I put out my own music, the response is really great. Whenever I say, does anyone want any more covers? It's like, like nonstop. So many people. It's mad. Yeah. People like familiarity. That's people the thing. love, yeah, people love it. And people really seem to enjoy watching the process because I can do it all from home. Yeah. It's a real, I guess it's a real insight into how it works. Well, what was um, your favorite cover to do then? Oh, did a Jimi Hendrix one. Ooh, did Purple tell Haze. Me. Oh, you Purple Haze did I did. And Damn boy. I tried to do it in true Hendrix kind of fashion. and I. So you set fire to your guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got stoned as well. Yeah, good on you. Uh, no, Again, I just, hi, hi, Connell's mum. Hello, mum. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tried to do it all in one take. So the guitar solo and the whole thing all in one take. Um wow. And that that's what stressful. that's what took the whole day. Yeah, yeah. that's a long take. <laughs> and I did it in two. I had to split it in half, but I gave myself a break because it was getting late and I had to finish. Yeah, well um, done, man. That's incredible. <laughs> could you see any of those covers creeping into the live set ever? Uh, yeah, I could. I mean, I'm doing a couple of covers this evening, but it's not going to be full band sort of thing. It's just going to be me playing a couple of my favourite songs on my own. Um, But yeah, I I love a cover. I love giving a twist on a song that everybody knows. Can you tease us as to what one of those covers could be for later? I could, I could just tell you. Well, I don't know, man. A tease? Okay, fine. I like a tease because that keeps people listening Well, we're in Manchester, so I thought I'd do an Oasis song and it's not Wonderwall. Oh, boo. Boo. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I, I, I love all the Oasis songs. Oasis. <laughs> That's always good. Yeah, I'm excited for that. So you, yep. you, you dedicate it to the to the lovely city. I respect that. Yes, We also course. We had another band do that once called uh, Joe and the Shit Boys, and they said they were doing Wonderwall. They screamed for a minute and a half shouting Wonderwall. Ah. Um, not going to do that. So there you go. It's <laughs> hard to beat, yeah. you know? The bar's been set. The bar's been set. <laughs> they uh, they lived up to their to their name there. It was lovely. Um, let's jump back to your songs, though, because yep. um, one of your most recent songs called Mallory. Yes. I've heard a rumour. It was originally called Emily, but that's your <laughs> flatmate's girlfriend's name. You've really done your research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny story. Um, yeah. So I was writing this song, and I knew I wanted it to be a name but I didn't know what name to go for. And for some unknown reason, the name Emily popped into my head and it was just stuck in my head. And yeah. It's a love song, isn't it? Well, yeah, kind of, yeah. It's awkward. And yeah, it's my housemate's girlfriend. So I went downstairs and was like, right, guys. Right, I love her, okay? I've got this song. (laughs) I'm tired of hiding it. (laughs) Emily, I love you. Um, and And I showed it to them and they were like, it was really good. 
but can you stop organising the yeah. remotes, please? <laughs> and I was like, I'll change it. Don't worry, I'll yeah, change yeah. it. So you had to. So is that why it's called Mallory? Because it fits in the same. Yeah. Rhyming. Yeah. <laughs> the syllables work, and it doesn't get me in trouble. That's probably you. Probably should have done that on the start. Shouldn't yeah, you? probably should have done. There I don't. You go. What's I don't, his mum called? Because that could be the next song. Leslie. <laughs> Leslie. Le- Le- that kind of. Leslie. I'm not going to write a love song about my mum though. <laughs> I mean, I mean well, uh, his his mum. So his mum. Keep doing oh, everything that's about my your mom. flatmates. I'm just your flatmates. Mum called. Uh, if you know. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, but Joe and the shit boys are taking a mental health break at the moment. Lovely, lovely man. Oh, it's good to know. Joe and the shit boys, feel better soon, man. Wherever you are, we out love there. you, man. All the You're best. a lot of fun. You're a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we should talk about how you got into the old music. Uh, yeah. And that's because your uncle was in a band called Marillion. He was. Yeah, and is. he tempted you into music. It did. Well, prog, is, prog music is not massively my thing, but no. I grew up with it. And yeah, Surrounded. Marillion had a hit in the 80s called Kaylee. Um, Again, so you were like, do you know what? Women's names, they Women's work. names, yeah, it's a theme. <laughs> and the other hit they had was called Lavender. So I was like, okay, this is becoming this, a this theme. This could work. Um, and yeah, I remember seeing my uncle on stage aged five, I think, maybe oh, six. He was that young? <laughs> <laughs> dad joke, come uh, on. You're good at that, this, I'm sorry you? about that. Every time I do a dad joke, we get another subscriber. Um, <laughs> um yeah, I, I saw him when I was really young. When I was really young. You you and really um, young. it just kind of was like, oh, that looks like loads of fun. I want to do that. I'm going to do that. So could you play anything at that point? No. And, and so what was the I, first thing you got your hands on? Well, I, my nan, my mum's mum, bought me a guitar. I, I know how grandparents work. My mum's mum <laughs> <laughs> um, bought me a guitar. And I picked it up and cried instantly because I couldn't play it. Like that straight away. That's still how I feel. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was my introduction into music. Um, but it's always been in my family, like listening to music and, and appreciating and enjoying music. Of course, been a big thing in my family. So it was kind of always there and really difficult to avoid. Not that I would ever want to, but no, no, no. it was always just there. It's just surrounding you, and then you were yeah. like, "I've got to go for it." It felt right. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. Uh, another one of your songs is called. Um, I, what is it called? Oh, I've written it down. I've lost it. I really don't like you. Yeah, really yeah. don't like you. Uh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Is that about your your flatmate's girlfriend as well? <laughs> Just to be like, look, look. Honestly, mate, it's fine. I don't. I've written this it's, one about her as well, so I'm, I'm, I feel somewhere in between about life. Her. Life is about balance. Exactly. <laughs> so every time you write one one loving song, you've got to be like, I hate also song a dick. As well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that's, like that. That's the way that the world works, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a sweet sounding song, but you're just being like, I think you're a bit of a dick. Well, that was just one that someone on Instagram really annoyed me. And then I just got thinking about all the people that annoyed me for no apparent reason. What had they done on Instagram out of curiosity? I can't remember. Can't, can't remember. Even remember. No. Just the hate just it. was it. just like a tiny little thing. And I was just like, oh, fuck off. Right. Yeah. Write a song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a true oh god that sounds so cheesy musician I need to channel my emotion I'm going to go and write a song about <laughs> going to write a song instead of posting a video on Instagram it's, it's another dog picture I'm tired of I need to write a song about this lovely I like yeah. this though I like that there's, there's some hatred in you <laughs> I love a bit of hatred myself uh, which is why I've listed some like modern day pet peeves okay. I want to play a game of higher or lower to work out which one is more annoying right first one um, is ordering stuff on apps and that's going up against retweeting your own tweets. Okay, retweeting your own tweets is way worse. Yeah, it's it's heavy worse. So much worse. Yeah. Do do let us know what you th- if there's any modern day pet peeves on the Twitch. If you want to throw them your, this way and we can rate them. Can I just say if anybody if anybody says that retweeting your own tweets isn't as annoying as buying things on apps? Yeah. You're, a you're getting judged really hard. Yeah, see, you're going to get a song written about you <laughs> if you keep playing yeah, that you game. Are. Yeah, it is. It's so annoying because it's sort of like, it's like someone in a conversation saying, oh, I've just said something really funny and then coming up to you five minutes later and going, do you remember when I said that thing? <laughs> it was great, wasn't it? Uh, basically my life. Um, <laughs> retweeting your own tweets. Is that worse or better than avoiding rounds? I'd say that retweeting your own tweets is worse ooh, ooh. than avoiding rounds. I'd, anything with monetary value, as, as a strong northerner, I'd say is worse. <laughs> I mean, avoiding rounds is not good. No. Um, but if I'm doing rounds and there's that many of them where I'm going to miss someone avoiding a round, yeah. 
I'm not going to be that annoyed by it. No. I don't think. I feel like you're not losing out on too much I'm not going to care money, at money. that point. Okay. So that's my thinking. There you go. In. You, you, you're adding the intoxication effect. Yeah, I yeah, respect yeah. your work in there. <laughs> uh, so still retweeting your own tweets is worse. Let's yeah. join in uh, with one from Crimson Cabot who says, is liking your own posts is right up there. A very similar thing. Yeah, but that which is... Which is worse? Retweeting your own tweets. Retweeting your own tweets. We can't get away from Re- it. If you retweet your own tweet, that's like pushing it out there. Get Liking can be just a private little... I, I don't do it. I've done it a few times. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Self applause. M Love Space says uh, avoiding rounds is unforgivable. Yeah, I I know it it's is bad. terrible. It's bad. I'm not saying anybody that I know on here is thinking now they can get away with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's, here's the other one. Retweeting your own tweets is going up against um, over a minute voice memos. Hmm. Because, mate, I didn't subscribe to your podcast. That's what I'm thinking when I get that. <laughs> I uh, don't mind it too much. But then I hate it because you're texting them, being like, oh, Joe, I've got the telly on. I'm chatting to someone else, just sending a little text. Done. Then they send it back and it's like, I want your full attention, <laughs> but I also don't want to ring you. It's like, make up your mind, boy. No, I, I think I, I don't mind voice memos. I'm, I'm not often the first to send, but... If it's received, I I don't mind. You're a voice memo reciprocator. I am, and mm. I will I will reply in in kind. I, we, do I you think. reply in a voice memo as well? Yeah, if I if I if I am in a position to do so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't you, mind. You them. really hate those retweeting your own it's, tweets, it's, aren't you? It's, it's sounding like it. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> it's uh, and this is this is uh, listening to music out loud on public transport. Okay, hate that. That's the worst. There we go. <laughs> and we've <laughs> and on that note, we're over with that. <laughs> but what I what I did see before we were discussing this, you saw Orchard obviously doing very well. Dan from Orchard, another round of applause for him yes. for beating the Larkins. Ooh. Well done. He he saw his goal and he took it um, <laughs> on uh, Forza. So. We're going to get up Forza again. Let's get up the scoreboard because... Oh, my oh no. Good job there's nothing dirty on that screen, Big Daddy Alex, eh? <laughs> that could have been anything. That's his personal computer. He's got his tax returns in there. <laughs> <laughs> so here, here we go here. These, this is... This, I mean, you're really seeing the oil in the machine right it's, now. It's not full screen yet. Yeah. It's, there, there, we go, go, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're behind the magician's curtain right now. Oh, so this, George Glue's on there. Look, George, right. George Glue. You're going down. George <laughs> is going down. I love a bit of George Glue. Lovely hair. Blonde mullet at the moment. <laughs> lovely Great guy. Stuff. Yeah, really nice guy. Very lovely Why do you guy. hate him? Does he retweet his own tweets? Is this what I we're finding out? I love him. But this <laughs> Why is do you want new... to destroy him then? I don't know. First name I saw that I knew. <laughs> love it. I love it. So what's going to happen is we're going to get you on the game. I'm going to sit next to you because... I think you're really nice. Thank you. Um, and also because we've got to share a microphone because oh, okay. you're playing the game. Right. Cool. Uh, in that sense. So, so. Where should I plunk this? You, you sit. Well, you plunk that down next to you, and I'll come sit next to you. I'll get cosy. Here we are. So this is Scritty. This is. Um, it, ooh, it, well, we get more viewers. Um, yeah, it's good. We're going to get on this. So how are you feeling for this? You feeling good? I've been thinking more about this. Thing. I'm glad to hear it. This is what we've always wanted. As long as it works, we're not going to need Big Daddy Alex to come over. Oh, it's not It's not connecting right now, Big Daddy. The light's on, but no one's home, Big Daddy Alex. Um, let's have a look. There we go. Thanks, Big Daddy Alex. Well done. You got two laps. We were taking past this lap. There, there is an eye of the tiger going on in your eye. I like it. I'm speaking to Jeff. No, no, yeah. This is the problem when, you, when you're a solo artist. If you're in a band, if you could have shared that thing, you could have had them taking some of the hits. But as a solo artist, you got me right next to you, baby. I'm not going to answer any of the questions. I'm just gonna, you're there. You, you could be talking to a wall. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, let's see how the start goes. It's a good start. It was slightly better than Orchards, I'd say. Sorry, Dan from Orchards, this could defeat you. It's a strong little go. Are you good at driving games? It seems to be the oh. control. Oh my goodness. What we? I think a reset is allowed on this, if we can get it back on. Big Daddy Alex. There we go. Okay. I've correct. Uh, rewind. There we go. Little rewind. That's allowed. Right. There we go. And onwards we go. Resume from here. Let's do this. Okay. And you're turning on your own volition now. There we go. So it's only you to blame. I love it. Can you drive in real life? I can. 
No. That's okay. You're having a good time. That's what the matter is. You're going shopping. What are you going to buy? <laughs> a gag for you. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know they sold those in Tesco's. Yes, that's what's A uh, little bit of a leash. Ooh, I know your mum's watching this. I don't want to... Um, hello. I, I, you've raised a lovely boy, but I don't really know what's happening right now. But I like it. This is not representative of my driving, very safe. Watch out for the tyres, by the way. See, I'm, why am I helping him? I, I, I've become... Oh, 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 oh! Yes, he's gone around the tyres! Oh, it's, it's a tight turn. It's a tight turn. You're getting your eye into it, though. I like to see it. <laughs> you can mirror the car noise as much as you like. Let's see what the Twitch's heart say in here. Any questions in? Do... Shit, 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 shit. Sorry. Oh, I, I, we want to get all the swearing in, remember? That's what we want. That's what the people crave. Here we go. Any questions while we're doing this? God, yes. Why well, even say it? Um, channel your inner stig, says Crimson Cabby. Thank you, Crimson Cabby. He wouldn't have talked. Um, what do you reckon is the best flavour of crisp? I, you know what? I like some vinegar. I don't like Ooh. You know what, what, if you had to invent a flavour, Chris, what flavour would that be? Um, um, okay. Drift King says FMM Riches. Sorry? From Riches says Drift King. Oh, is that Fiona? That's Fiona. I know Fiona. Who's Fiona? Yeah, newest friend of mine. And she's watching. And she's right. I, I like the way you said friend there. I feel like there's more to it. And I have to put you off by, by, uh, by pulling that. There we go. What do penguins smell like? They stink, mate. Honestly, they are where I think the mini is born. You smell the penguins? I've smelled several penguins, mate. That's what they say. This is, this is, I'm, I'm going to not ask you as many questions right now because I feel like we need to focus. I want you to achieve this. I want George Lee to be watching at home, glued to the screen. Just hoping for the best. We got this, we got this, we got this. Watch out for those tyres. Give us directions from your house to the local pub. Um, Me give you how to do it. Oh, well, that's quite easy because I have I love that Crimson Cabby asked that because it's such a happy question. What we've done here really well is that just when you pass the finish line, It'll be just about time for you to go on stage. Oh, that's great. Exactly, so you straight into those songs. I'm ready to chant. Oh, this is amazing. I think you're going up to this. I think George was 150 something. 152, I'm going to say, that's in my head. You've got 12 seconds to get around that corner. You're drifting around, Mr. Drift King, but you're not doing badly. One more corner to go. Can he make it? 150, 151, 152. 153.597 I mean, I think I'm better than that, guys. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, it's guys. TC uh, Tranquil, that is the Top Gear test track. Yes, we've ripped this directly from Top Gear, but then Jeremy Clarkson did punch a producer, so all's well in love and war. Uh, you did beat him! Yes! It was, it was 154. It was 153 was your time. Let's just double check, so I don't want to... I don't wanna, Upset George if he doesn't know it. Can we ju jump back quickly? This is me. I know. Oh, can we jump back to the game? Just swiftly jump back to the game. It was. What was the. What was the. 153! Oh, you beat George Glue! George. I'm sorry, mate. He's melted your glue. You got nowhere to go. <laughs> You're not so sticky now, boy, are you? And I'll do you know how's it feel, mate? This, Who do you want? Do you want a court shout out to George Glue? George Glue, I'm sorry, man, but, you know. Yeah, I'm, he's I'm rubber, champion. you're glue. That's right. He bounces <laughs> off you, mate. Don't you worry about it. And let's put all that adrenaline straight into your performance because we'll be seeing you live in just about five minutes' time. Don't you go anywhere. I'm looking at you, Crimson Cabby. <laughs>